welcome to the Felicity Yarn Studio channel. My name is Zoe. I am also known as Zoe Nichols on social media, and I am here today with another FO feature video for you guys. And today we'll be talking about the Scotch Broom Crop, and this is a design by Wool and Pine. And if you're not familiar, that is the design duo of Selena of Dank Fiber and Abby of Abby Knits. And I have been a test knitter for a few times for them now in the past. And when they were um, kind of putting out the call for test knitters again, I I was going to bypass this one because um, I'm not a huge fan of crop tops, but I kind of got sucked in <laughs> as one does and things kind of opened up here recently. So yeah, I decided to um, go ahead and do this test knit for them as well. And so as the name suggests, this is a crop top um, and they have found a way to make the broomstick motif into a knit stitch. It is normally a crochet stitch. Um, so that was kind of a fun thing to learn and to knit. Um, so before I jump into like really how the construction and everything went, I just wanted to mention that I used Olan yarn and the sock light base. I think on my podcast, I have been calling this colorway Patriot, but I just looked at the label again and it says portrait. So that's my bad. Um, and I used two skeins for my size. I did the 54 inch bust that gave me um, about two or three inches of positive ease. And this is a size inclusive pattern. They went all the way up to a 70 inch bust. It is a very customizable pattern. It's a really, um, it's really easy to change, you know, what size you want to get. So I think, yeah, the 70 inch size bust only required 900 yards. So it's a really great stash buster as well for those one and two skein kind of quantities that you always seem to have lying around. So yeah, this, um, the way it's constructed, there is an I-cord cast on. Um, you make a panel for the front and a panel for the back and this broomstick lace. And then once those are done, you join them and start working in the round to make the body. And it does have a split hem. Um, I will say that the pattern suggests um, knitting a certain amount past the broomstick lace for the body length and it is a crop top and it was discussed kind of in the testing thread and I'm not sure I'm recording this about a week before the before the pattern gets released so I'm not sure what kind of changes they're going to make to the pattern um, but for my body and for my size seven inches wouldn't have even been enough to cover like underneath or my like entire bra area so um, I, I also kind of knew that I wanted to make mine a little bit longer than like a standard crop since they're not typically a style that I wear a whole lot. So um, when it was all said and done, uh, I think my front part here was 10 inches past um, the lace and the back is two inches longer than that. So all of my notes are on my Ravelry project page as well, which you will find linked in the description box below. Um, but again, body length is something that's really simple and really easy to modify and customize to your body. I do think that I have a slightly longer than average torso. I always seem to want to add or need to add length um, in the body for um, tops that I typically knit. Um, but other than that, it was a really, really quick knit. I could have finished it like a week ago, but... Um, I don't know, I just kept wanting to pick up other things. Um, but I will just say that the broomstick motif uh, was, it was a little fiddly when I was swatching. But then once I actually started the panels for the garment, I really enjoyed the stitch a lot more doing it in that format. I don't know why, um, but it, it goes by really quickly and it grows really quickly with this so much kind of open open this up here and um it's really light and airy and like today it's in the 70s or so outside and i'm actually a little bit 
not chilly, but it's nice and cool. So I actually think I'll get a considerable amount of wear out of this through the spring and summer. So I'm pretty pleased with that. And I did style mine today with um, these linen pants that are kind of bigger and breezier. Um, I don't know what the exact term is for the style that they are, but they, um, I feel like it complements they are high-waisted, so they complement the crop top nicely. Um, I would like to get a linen skirt to wear with it at some point. And I think tomorrow I'm going to try styling this with an undershirt and maybe some shorts, which is more my style and probably more how I'll wear it on, like, out in public. And I'll try to pop some pictures or some footage in at the end of the video of that style as well. Because, yes, I don't know if you can tell from there, but I, I don't have an undershirt on. Um, I do just have a nude bra, which I don't think looks too, like, revealing or anything. Maybe a little bit. Um, maybe I would just, like, wear this out to dinner or something, not to, like, the grocery store. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed this. I'm really pleased with the shape and where everything is falling on my body. Um, another customizable feature of this pattern is the neckline. And I did seam, I think I seamed like eight of the little motifs together on each side to get this kind of width of the boat line neck. I kind of wanted to leave it more open like a boat line neck. Um, I just think it's really flattering especially when it kind of gets pulled back like that. I just I really like that look. So I think that's basically everything that I have to say about this top. Again, it was a super quick um, pattern. I think you could easily make one in two weeks or less um, if it's the sole thing that you are working on. I think it's very versatile as far as um, customizing the fit and the shape that you're looking for. I did try to stick mostly to how the pattern was designed since it was a test knit, um, but if it was something that I was kind of scrolling through and came across on my own, I would have definitely made it longer and probably made the split hem, um, like made them the same length on each side. That just would have been my personal preference, but I am still really happy with how this turned out as is. And as always, um, the patterns by Selena and Abby are really well written, really clear. There's always videos, um, video tutorials for how to do the stitches. So the video tutorial for um, the broomstick lace was really clear and easy to understand. And I mean, it took me not even a full repeat to really understand and know what I had to do on that. Hey guys, uh, just jumping in here to mention a few things that I forgot and I noticed when I was editing this video. Uh, the first thing that I wanted to mention is that um, blocking as always is magic and it will really do wonders for this broomstick lace pattern. It really opens up the stitches and makes them lay um, nice and flat and neat. So that is just something to keep in mind. Uh, the second thing is that I did do helical knitting on mine when I joined the body in the round. So for the lace panels, I used the same skein on top and then I started alternating once I joined in the round. So I just wanted to um, also give y'all those two little pieces of information. All right, guys, I think that is about it. If you are planning on knitting this, if you're currently knitting it, if you have any questions, please feel free to drop them in the comment box down below. I will do my best to answer any questions that you might have about the pattern. Um, and if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, you should do that and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I will be back um, probably next week sometime with a full podcast episode. So keep your eyes peeled for that. And yeah, I will check back in with you guys soon. Happy knitting.